Hello all and welcome to another Gavin Anderson video. It's Art here with the review for the first, for the premiere episodes, because they released two, of Star Trek Discovery, the final season. Starring Shaniqua Martin Green, Doug Jones, David Igella, and Mary Weissman, just to name a few, but the whole cast is back. Back, Anthony Rapp is back. Um, every, every bit player is back. Now, one thing I do like that they're doing is they're showing more of an ensemble cast um, just like all the other Star Treks like DS9 like TNG all the other great Star Treks uh, because we know that uh, Lieutenant Tilly's character is at Starfleet Academy we know that uh, Saru's character has a life outside of Starfleet now we know M Michael Burnham and um Booker are uh, doing kind of got their thing going on and we we meet a new character who seems to be like a badass go-getter um, so this season seems like it's going to be great I don't know if they're latch on because their big latch on is they're taking a small episode from TNG and they're making it a uh, a pretty big deal. They're expounding on it and expanding on it, um, which, depending on how it goes, could be excellent or could or could fall flat on its face. We don't know yet. We 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 just simply do not know. Um, I, however, will play it. In the sense of, I like the way Discovery could play. We know it's the fifth and final season of Discovery. We know we're going to be getting more Strange New Worlds. We know we're going to get a Section 31 either TV movie or TV series. They haven't decided that yet. And we may even get more Star Trek after that. After all, Paramount Plus is kind of Kent Pole property is indeed Star Trek. Like, uh, it is a Kent Pole property. It's what keeps most people back, uh, coming back to Paramount Plus as an app. Now, if Paramount Plus goes away, then you could have um, issues. But I could see, I can see that Discovery is, I think, going to end off in a great crescendo. I'm not going to make speculation of, of where we're going to be headed, but I do think, I, first of all, the special effects are top notch and on point. Michael Burnham's character is slowly becoming less of a Mary Sue. Still a Mary Sue, though, because everything is about uh, Burnham in every sense of the word. Um, so it's not as good as it could be, but it's not as bad as it could be either. Uh, it is, in a way, it has potential to be both a great crescendo for the series and a great bow tie to end off each and every storyline. If they give it enough episodes, I think to make it um, work, they should really give it like 10 to 13 episodes in my mind. I don't know how many were greenlit. I didn't look that up. Because I went into season five blind. This is my gut reaction to um, the two season premiere episodes because they uh, dropped on the same day back to back, episodes one and two. Uh, I do think that, like I said, it has a possibility of being one of the better seasons of Star Trek Discovery. Now, gr I'll grant you, it doesn't have a high bar to cross. I'll grant you that. But I, for one, am not a Discovery detractor like most people are. I think Discovery had, had great potential all along. And I like the character of Lieutenant Tilly. I like the character of Stamets. I like the character of the Doctor whose name I always forget. I like the character of Saru. I just think 
it needed more of that ensemble cast feel. Like, give us more of one of my favorite episodes from one of the past seasons is like when you see them go through separation trauma and you see th them go through that 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 was amazing i like the fact that it can be it it in its beginning played behind tos now it's in uncharted star trek territory and we can go many 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 layers um and i think that's an amazing 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 feat I truly 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 do do I think that Alex Kurtzman and the others may find a way to not pull off what they could pull off in the best way possible probably it's definitely possible it's definitely within their own possibility but I am a forever optimist when it comes to Star Trek and I see uber positives so long as they don't make it about Burnham as a whole so long as they make it about the ensemble cast and maybe Burnham is the protagonist propellant that propels the ensemble cast forward then I'm all about that and then they will finally have found their true footing in Discovery albeit a little bit late but has Discovery been a terrible show? No. It's been a show kind of treading through water. It's had great episodes. It's had terrible episodes. It's had eh episodes. But you could say that about TOS. You could say that about, about TNG. And you can damn sure say that about, about Voyager. And even DS9 there are some eh episodes. Um, the DS9 Q episode was an episode. The DS9 All the Way Home episode, uh, where, where they play, where Quark, where Quark plays the board game, is an episode. So, it's just, it's, it could be better. It could be worse. And well, Star Trek Picard season three, I think, redeemed. Star Trek Picard. Uh, will season 5 re redeem Star Trek Discovery to its full and honest potential? I don't think it's a terrible show. I just think it need it needed more of an ensemble cast feel. It needed more of a um, more of a more of a focus on an entire crew like all the other Star Trek shows. It's not that it's not bad, but it's also not one of the best Star Treks out there. It is, at best, a mediocre Star Trek right now. Now, Season 5 could save it and make it at least a good Trek. I have enjoyed parts of it, and I hated parts of it. There's parts of Picard I hated, and there's part uh, Season 3 I completely loved. Parts of Season 2 I love, too. So, I... But I will let the work speak for itself. <coughs> Excuse me. I will let the work speak for itself. I will let... Um, I will let... Discovery speak for itself. And my final grade, of course, will, will be coming up in the final season review... That you'll get at the end of the season once I've watched all the episodes. But as I've done every year, we're doing a season preview. And I do like where season 5 is going. It's finally got, like I said, that ensemble cast feel. It's finally got that importance that a Star Trek should, could, should, and does now feel. So, am I expecting a lot from season 5? I am because I wanted to end on a good note. And I want it to be remembered as a good Star Trek series. Uh, would I be surprised if it ended with a popcorn for it? No. But for me, the two premiere episodes get 7 out of 10 Earl Grey, Grey Cups of Tea. And that's what I um, grade Star Trek on. It's 7 out of 10. It's above. They were above average for me. They were fun. 
they called back to certain things in a lot of certain things in Star Trek that I could go point by, by point by point. But you really should watch uh, season five by itself. Maybe you'll wait to the end of season five and go from there. I don't know. But um, this is where I'm going to make an announcement too. And you get the announcement because you waited to the end of the video. The announcement is that this month I am starting a Star Trek full uh, lit burst flow chart read through. I will post online where I am on Twitter and at the end of each section of the lit verse we'll review each one of the books because there are just too many books it would take too long so at, at, the, at the end of each section of the lit verse we'll go through it and we'll do what we gotta do but without further ado those are my thoughts on the premiere episodes of the final season of Star Trek Dis Discovery I'm gonna enjoy uh, Star Trek I think I think it's a it's going to be a good romp, but let me know in the comments down below if you intend to watch Star Trek Discovery, the final season. Uh, and without further ado, you know I make videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday, 12.30 p.m. Central, 10.30 a.m. Pacific, 1.30 p.m. Eastern. Please like, comment, subscribe if you want to see more. Please ding the notification bell to be notified when I upload a video. And I'll see you again soon. Live long and prosper. And... Peace.